It follows a 29-year-old black woman who essentially is trying to outrun change, uh, which she can't. Um, she takes up jogging, even though it is not a very comfortable experience for her. And it looks at, it takes a bit of a look at the ways of how her transformation begins, how she feels that because she is a black woman living in America, she is allowed to transform, um, bucking against that allowance or that permission of how she's allowed to transform. Um, and finding agency, her own agency, particularly in being messy and uh, finding her own voice that doesn't necessarily look like what a lot of society might again tell her what her voice is allowed to look like and accepting that maybe it's bigger and greater and better than anything she could have ever imagined and learning to find power in taking up space and learning to accept the fact that she needs to go to therapy and accept that help and encouragement towards that change and navigating and grieving the person she's changing from and it goes through the five stages of grief in mourning who she was in order to become who she's about to become my motivation to write this play was i was stuck in a breakup like the feelings of a breakup that had that breakup itself had happened a year and a half earlier and I was still so uh, caught up in how that person made me feel and how I was so angry at the time. I was still so angry, mostly at myself for allowing myself to be in that interaction, for allowing myself to be um, treated in the way that he treated me, which wasn't terrible, but was definitely not as caring as I'd asked for. And yet, even as he told me he wasn't going to be giving me that sort of emotional response, I stayed with him anyway. And, you know, I was beating myself as to why I would do that, why I was still hung up on this person, why I still had feelings for this person. And rather than going to therapy, which I couldn't afford at the time, I decided to take up running because I lived next to Prospect Park in New York. And I was like, okay, well, that's for free. And also secretly, it's a bit of a punishment on the body, which I realized that I didn't really want to heal. I just wanted to hurt myself more or have an externalization of the pain I was feeling and the disorientation I was feeling at being so angry and not really feeling like I had a place to put it. And then realizing that there was a change happening within me and a kind of transformation happening within me that I was just fighting tooth and nail but that running actually brought out of me and helped me realize. So in the same way where I was trying to run from something, I wound up running right into it and right towards it and having to face that anger and that pain and that hurt. Um, but coming out on the other, like learning not to fear coming out on the other side. Very much a conversation of fearing letting go of that anger and fearing letting go of that pain, even though it did not feel good. Um, but knowing that to do so would be so relieving and also fearing being relieved um, because I didn't know at the time who I was if I didn't have that sort of to push against and then thus the play was was born I wanted it to be an unconventional sort of metamorphosis kind of kind of piece kind of experience for the audience I so I was fortunate enough to be a part of the Foundry project last winter and fall and the feedback was just so so incredibly thoughtful and deep and helped me realize themes within my piece that I hadn't necessarily consciously thought about but definitely was excited to highlight and punch up in terms of um, defining sort of the connective tissues around a lot of the themes and sharpening them uh, and it allowed me also to see I feel like there were some whole or some places where that sinew wasn't it was just about to connect but it wasn't quite quite there and so it gave me the idea that even though I've been working on this piece for very many years two new scenes came to me 
that I think will help really tie everything together. And so that's what I'm planning on incorporating in to this process uh, in an attempt to get this play as close to finished as I think it could be, you know, without being realized on stage yet. But um, it's definitely been a, a, a process and it feels really, really amazing that it feels like the culmination, at least for now, of this process will happen at a space that is as generous and is as giving as OPC. The reception to this play here, I felt like, has been like none other um, in my career and it's such a gift to get to realize the piece in a community that since jump through 115% behind it and to get to meet the people in person now who yeah. have been so encouraging of me these past couple of months it's really really exciting to get to play and create and talk to so many different artists from so many different mediums in such a vulnerable and generous space is always such a gift for creating because it's so to me it's incredibly inspiring and it makes me excited to show my work and excited to engage with everyone else and makes me feel like I can you know quote unquote fail and still have a safety net it can actually be a learning experience and not a devastating experience it can be like oh I'm so excited I got to try that that doesn't work but like <laughs> now I know and kind of thing rather than oh my gosh I'm mortified that didn't work I wonder what they're going to think kind of experience.